Yo, what's up, guys? It's Nick from Man's Gaming. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty videos. Today, we have a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be talking about something that is sort of a technical thing, but will will help your gameplay a lot and make you a better player. So, yeah, today we are going to be talking about monitors and how they make your hitting better and your pitching better. So yeah, those of you guys who are subscribers and have been for a while and you've seen this video in MLB 20 and MLB 19, feel free to click off unless you wanna keep watching because it's the same video. I just like doing it every year so that my new subscribers learn this too. So basically what I do is I explain how I became a good player and I'm not trying to be a jerk and like I want to remain humble but I, I have to say this that I'm a really good player like I, my records 45 and 5 in ranked seasons but yeah so basically I'm just gonna be talking about how monitors enhance your gameplay so first of all it's not even specifically monitors it's more of a thing called response time and it's not yeah, it's not necessarily monitors. You could have a TV that has a better response time than a monitor. That's definitely for sure. But it's just that most monitors have better response times than TVs. So that's why I just like to say monitors are better. So those of you who don't know the coding behind this, what the response time is, it's in milliseconds and it's how long it takes from the console to take what happens in the game from the console and display it on your screen. So let's say I hit a homer and the response time is 10 milliseconds. That means right in my PS5, right when I hit a homer, it'll take me 10 milliseconds for it to come up on the screen, which is very minimal. So yeah, that's what response time is. now. How does that affect your gameplay? I'm about to tell you. So with response times, we all know the shorter response time, the better you'll be in most video games really. So response times, generally you wanna get a lot shorter. And I would recommend somewhere between one and five milliseconds for whatever screen you're using. But yeah, you wanna get your response time as low as you can because that'll help you the best. So basically, how that affects your gameplay is when you are playing online and you're facing a pitcher and he pitches a ball, if you have a bad response time, that's gonna affect your timing and that's gonna affect your PCI. If you have a really short response time, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to square up pitches because it'll be more in sync. You're basically just gonna be more in sync with your gameplay with a shorter response time because you'll, you won't have like a, a big delay. That's the big issue is you don't wanna have a delay because that's really gonna mess up your timing. Also, this mainly affects hitting. It also affects pitching, but not nearly as much as it does for hitting. Hitting is focused mostly on timing and the location of the PCI with your stick. With the pitching, especially for pinpoint, you don't have to be spot on. You really don't. You can be slightly off and still get a perfect release. And yeah, it, it, it's definitely gonna help pitching, but it's more more focus, we're, we're sort of focusing more on hitting here. So basically, if you, if you have a screen that has a shorter response time than a TV or you upgrade monitors, basically, it's gonna make your gaming a lot easier and Fun, it's going to make it more fundamentally sound. So, going more into detail, the average TV is around 10 milliseconds in response time, and the average monitor is 1 to 5. Somewhere in between 1 and 5. Obviously, it's going to be more expensive to get one that's like around 1 millisecond. I do not remember what my monitor is, uh, but it's definitely in that category. I could, I could easily tell between my old TV and my monitor. So, yeah, so we went over how it affects your gameplay. It, we went over how it affects hitting and pitching. Now, 
we're gonna go over how it actually affected me and how it helped me improve so basically I've been playing MLB The Show since MLB The Show 15. MLB The Show 15 was my first MLB The Show game I've ever played because I'm still relatively young. I'm 17, so I haven't been playing since like 06 or whenever the first one was. But I have been playing for a while. So the longer you've been playing, the better you'll be. It's just plain and simple. That's that's something that definitely has an effect, but it doesn't make you not good if this is your first MLB The Show. Especially with it being on Xbox this year, we have a lot of new players. You can still be very good in your first year. So, yeah, I started playing MLB The Show and MLB 15. Focused, or I, I, I basically just played Road to the Show and Franchise for 15 and 16. Then in MLB The Show 17 is when I started to play Diamond Dynasty. I was more of an offline player. I was not very good online. So, yeah, I wasn't very good online. MLB 18 came around, it was sort of the same thing. I got a little better online, but nothing too spectacular. I was still an average player. And then MLB 19, that's when I got a Munner. And MLB 19, I went from like a wild card player to a World Series player. Now, the upgrade isn't instantly going to give you 300 plus points like it did to me. Those of you guys who haven't played in the past, MLB The Show 18 was one of the worst MLB The Shows of all time, gameplay and content wise. It just wasn't very rewarding at all for good swings. But yeah, MLB The Show 18 was really bad and I think MLB The Show 19's gameplay improved a lot and it made it more user focused. That definitely could have played an aspect. I could have just been a good hitter getting screwed, but I think it was mostly my monitor that helped. So, yeah, from MLB 18 to 19, as my controller automatically turns off after 10 minutes. <laughs> but from 18 to 19, I went from a wildcard player to a World Series player. And I that's when I changed from a TV to a monitor, and that response time helped me so much. So I always get comments everywhere saying, how do you become a good hitter? How are you so good? And it's something that's really hard to just give a quick answer on, a, on some Twitch stream. Uh, you really have to go in depth in YouTube videos, which I have other videos. I have a hitting tips video, which actually shows you in game how you can be a better hitter. I have a pinpoint pitching tips video, which is very useful. And now this video. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Also, one more thing I just wanna add. I'm not saying, like I don't wanna make this a video where you should be putting your family life behind and will be the show if you cannot afford a monitor do not do it if you this is 100 percent your choice i'm not saying you have to go get a monitor i'm not saying you have to get a monitor to be good at this game i'm just recommending that you get a monitor because monitors are expensive they are so if you're not fortunate and you're in some hard times i mean we still we're still in the pandemic i mean we're yeah we're still in covid but you understand what I'm saying. I'm just trying to say, if you have the chance to do it, I highly recommend you do. But, yeah. That's going to be for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your host, Nick from Against Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.